Hello, viewers, and welcome again to Acorn Times Basket. It's Friday with Dr. Bimbo14, also more formally known as Cowan, and today, we, this week, we've been challenged to do instructional videos, and um, I decided to do an instructional on one of the things that I'm, I really like. I love tea. I didn't say that in my intro video. I don't know why. Um, pretty much the rest of the group, like, calls me a tea prick because I know so much about it, but not really. I'm just very pompous about it because I love tea. So, today I decided I would do an intro on two of the, um, prick teas that you can make at home. You don't have to really buy any sort of, um, ingredients, just things that you can grow in your garden. My first tea is my, um, my lavender lemon mint tea, and, um, the next one is pine tea. So, uh, let's get cracking. So, for my first prick tea, it's, um, it's pine, and you're gonna, you're gonna be taking, um, this long, the longleaf pine, and you're gonna need, like, quite a lot of it, um, I'll show you that in a bit. So you're just gonna pick some. So, for your, um, what I like to call my pine prick tea, you're going to need, like, a lot, like, this much. And this is, like, a couple branches of the, uh, of, again, the, the long, the long, uh, little, long needle pine. I've never tried it with a short needle, so it might work. If you do, like, congratulations and tell me. If you don't and you get poisoned and die, I'm not accountable. Just don't try it. Now what we're going to do is, um, you're going to take each branch like this and you're going to pull the little, um, little bundles of needles off it. So it's like this. And you, if you notice, it's got, like, those little brown speck things on the very... Um, end of the needle, you're gonna make sure, yeah, those, <laughs> those things, yeah, you you don't want those on there, so what, what I usually do is I just pinch them and pull them off, and then you can throw those away later. It's a little bit of a strainer, like, right there, so I don't have to worry about that. If, if yours doesn't, I would maybe suggest putting, um, just not worrying about it, because you need a ton of it, and I don't know how you'd be able to fit that in any sort of strainery thing. Okay, so you just keep, um, I am done cutting up all of these, because you got all this residue over here, you just pulled off, pulled off the very bottoms of those, in case you missed it, I don't know how you would, and, um, you need, you need a fair amount of, um, the needles, because it's not very strong. Time to go add water. So basically the origin for my, um, pine prick tea, there were, um, I believe there were French explorers in the, in the Americas when they came to the Americas, and, um, they were all, like, getting crazy, scurvied up, because there was really no vitamin C anywhere. So, um, they noticed how the natives were, like, doing just fine, and they were like, so how are you doing this? And the natives just kind of like pointed up at the trees, and um, that was kind of the birth for this pine tea. It's really high in vitamin C, like crazy high, but it's not like super strong. For our other tea that we'll be doing tonight is um, another one that I just I just recently made. It's, um, it's my lemon mint and lavender prick tea. For this like when you're picking the lavender, you don't really want the entire strand. You're just gonna take the little, the just the buds of it, and you're gonna need, you know, a fair amount. This stuff is fairly strong. I'd say for a good amount would maybe be maybe like that much. And um, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lightly crush it so it like lets some of the juices come out a little bit more because it needs a little bit of that. Alright, well let's go get the mint. Now for our other tea that we have here, uh, I mean for the same tea but just different thing that we need, you're just gonna take these uh, just like you know maybe um, 
four good sized leaves of the mint completely. And, um, you know, you can separate them if you want. I mean, uh, that's really up to you. And I'm just going to lightly crush these just to kind of like bring out the juices and all the things I'm using because they, they need a little bit of coaxing sometimes. Okay, so now for our teas, we are going to take pots and, um, you know, heat up some water for the tea. Now, you never want to put boiling water in tea because it will scorch the leaves and give it a very nasty, bitter taste. You just kind of want to have it, like, just below boiling or otherwise said by how, what tea you use. So, we're just going to let that heat up and, uh... And prepare our needles. Remember not to forget about the tea so it boils away. That's what happened my first time I did it. Now after we crush this up a bit, um, we're going to add this to what, well, I, what I have. It's from Tivana. It's this really cool little, it's not really little, it's, it, it's a chain, but um, they got really good tea and they've got a lot of really cool tea accessories. It's this, um, it's like perfect tea, tea maker. It's like 16 ounces or something like that. And um, what it does is, like, you put the tea leaves in there, or, you know, whatever, tea-ish, and you put in the hot water, and um, you let it steep, and then you put it on top of a general-sized mug, and then it will drain out the water. Uh, so to add the water to our two teas, easy task, and then let, like, this one steep just till... However, it looks like a good greenish color, um, depending on how much mint you have in it. And then this is going to be like 15 or 20 minutes for steeping. This takes a long time. Let's do that. Now that this is done, I'm not saying I probably should have added a tiny bit more because this looks a little bit light. Just because I like to have it darker, depends on how you like it, it's just on preference. And then the neat thing, I just do that, it just drains it out. Okay, now it's done. And then we get to try. Delicious! Then we have our other pine prick tea. And we will taste that to see if it's... I sometimes like mine with a little bit of honey. You know, just depends on what kind of mood of mine if I want something sweet. And let's see if this... Tastes awesome. D -d 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 Delicious! And that has been Prick Tea with Dr. Bimbo 14. You stay classy, YouTube.